wake up. Why are you like peering from the side? Lurking, that's what I do. It is Vlogtober. We are heading into Manchester today and it's raining, which isn't great. Right. But we are kind of going in together, kind of splitting up, aren't we? Where do you want me to put it? Like, like literally, where do you want me to put like it? Like in front of us. Like there. <laughs> what the hell's vlogged over why? anyway? What's what? It, you vlog in October. Well, you vlog every month, so what's all that about? Well, it's like Vlogmas is in Christmas. Yeah, to vlog be fair. Vlogtober. What a trait on, pal. Oh. Oh, go on. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Beep, beep, beep. You need one of them. Fogging up here. Right. Well, I'll it's tell you what. Just to look. Vlog, Vlogtober's getting to it. <laughs> you meant to vlog every day, like Vlogmas. But oh, I think I was yeah, going. that went well last time, didn't it? I, I, You're complaining 10th day in. No, I wasn't. I, I did it all apart from the last two days, I think. If you fancy a you, binge. You were complaining from the 10th day. I was poorly in the first week. You were complaining. I wasn't complaining. I love it, but it's hard work. Are we gonna argue today? <laughs> Vlogged over, that's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Vloguary in January. No. Vloguary. <gasps> You've coined onto a new term there. Vloguary. I hope I haven't. Vlogtober. Feb vlog. Vlarch. No, that's not as good that one. Anyway. We're heading into Manchester for an event, which I'll obviously take you to. We're going to the Klarna pop-up store, which we get gifted from ASOS. Do you fancy anything? What have we got? You can come along if you want. Am I allowed in? Yeah, I think it's open to the public. Yeah, because anyone can pop in. That's what I'm advertising. Yeah. Come with us if you want. Um, and then we're going to go for some food, aren't we? I want to try Mackie Maya, but we'll just see where just we end up. Lads, what? <laughs> Why are you talking about cricket? Because they'll watch the vlog and then they'll be like, they got mentioned. Where am I going? Straight around. Um, no. They might want some for the dogs. The dogs from ASOS. They probably do have dog memorabilia. Anyway, no. I am gonna see you guys when we get there. Got it? Yeah, you can end it now. <laughs> Look what we found. So happy that Manchester now has a cause. So we're gonna have a quick look inside whilst we wait for Lydia to get in to get here. And then you can see over there in the distance, that is where I'm headed, where it says House of Klarna. This is it. This is the old uh, Jack Wills, if you remember it. So they just have loads of different rooms with all the rails of the brands that Klarna represents. Misguided, Ego, Public Desire, there's Lydia in the style quiz. 
ASOS down there. And uh, Tom is lingering around somewhere. <laughs> We've lost him. He was like, is there any more I don't know. I tell you what, he doesn't get the fact that it's interest free, the fact that it's so easy to buy your items now, but you pay later in instalments, that's yeah. how it works. Yeah. So it is like, what? It's, why wouldn't you do it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is what we're here to do. We're gonna explore the rails, have a little shop, shop till we drop, and then Lydia's going back home, fleeting visit for Lydia. Yeah, literally an hour. Look at us, leather and white. Oh yeah. <laughs> How do we it? Always. And then uh, I think me and Tom are gonna go get some food, so we'll shop now. If I pick anything up, I'll let you guys know what I end up paying. <laughs> We've had a look at all the rails and then ASOS is actually very kindly sending us a couple of bits that we've picked out. So as soon as that has arrived, I'll let you guys know. But we've come upstairs and there's so many brands. Samsung, this is my favorite one, Oliver Bonus. So we've got some furniture, the iconic drinks trolley. Friend number one on the phone, friend number two on the phone. I'm the only one not on the phone. Oh, <laughs> not anymore. That's what they've got. We're just walking past this cat cafe. How cute. Tom probably thinks it's mental. I can't see many cats in there, can you? <sighs> That's not good, is it? I should take it back so that you don't know where my heart is at. Whenever you guys are interested, this is the shop Elite Dress on Instagram, which I come to in Manchester to shop designer goods. I've just spotted Monica Venada there as well, which I've never seen in here before. And oh my god, they've got a saddle bag! So I'm gonna go in and have a look. Don't want to complicate things Maybe if I asked Was any of it real? So we've come to the Lowry Outlet Mall because we're gonna, well Tom's got a meeting, but then we're gonna maybe go and watch the Joker at the cinema. And I popped into m and Outlet. They've got all the Christmas bits in and look, they've got the candles with the cloches, which I love in the festive ones. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna have to stock up. 17.50 ordinarily, but here they're only nine pound 50 with the cloches. Mandarin clove, we've got mistletoe and fur. And look, they've got potpourri, reed diffusers, and they've even got Christmas cards. 
Oh, winter apple and spice, that smells. Sounds nice. What's that one? Frankincense and myrrh. All right, I'm gonna get a basket. And look at the luxury crackers as well. How exciting, 17.50, or they've got the smaller, cheap ones at seven pound. What do we think? Is it too early to buy baubles? Four pound fifty from six, and then they've got all of these. But how cute are these little snowmen and these little reindeer? Three pound fifty for that. And if I go by what I did last year, I had like a woodland theme, so I feel like this would be quite cute on that on the tree. Three pound fifty. I like the like golds and browns and creams on my tree. They also have loads of cosy knit jumpers out that price £9.50 from £29.50. Again, very reasonable. If you can check out an MS outlet, I would highly recommend you do. So yeah, that one's from £15 down to £9.50. So that one's a really good discount. Oh, I've just spotted that they have this pink one in cream and grey as well. I love the cream. And it's super, super thick as well, that one. We've got Christmas jumpers at £15, that one's cute. And then jeans sale stuff is like five nine oh four ninety nine. Yeah. We are in a shopping mall. They should finish that. All by ourselves. Ooh. We have just had some food at the Alchemist, which was lovely, and now we are actually heading home. Sad times, we were expecting to go and watch Joker at the cinema, and we were told, look, I've got some of these bits from Eminence today. Christmas stuff. Yes, already. Yeah. Uh, it's round here. Um, so we had some nice food, didn't we? Yeah. And now we're going to head home. We were going to go and watch Joker. We're going to have to watch that tomorrow and book tickets tonight because it's just sold out everywhere. It seems to be a popular film to watch. What are you looking at? I have no idea. <sighs> so it is the following day from when you last saw me and today finally, we are going to go and see the Joker at the cinema. We're just going to go to our local cinema. We've had a really nice morning, we went on a long walk this morning, I went to get a parcel, pick up that and then I, um, what else did we do, we just stayed in, I've been doing some work, watching Shane Dawson's new documentary with Jeffree Star, Tom's just gone to pick up his car from the car wash before we head on to the cinema later, I thought I would just show you the bits that I got yesterday. So I did pick up a couple of bits from the M&S outlet, I'll show you that in a second, but I also picked up these from the ASOS gifting suite. They actually sent them to us and they arrived this morning, which was super speedy. Um, so I picked up this cute little handbag. I feel like this as a little designer trend is just ridiculous because it's so small, so I thought an ASOS version would be a nice one to link for you guys as like a... Uh, you know, like an alternative designer dupe type bag, which you can just pretty much fit a coin person. <laughs> um, but anyway, I picked that up. I don't really have any bags in this color, so that is the main reason why I picked that up. And then I also got this chunky knit jumper. This is the chunkiest knit jumper I've ever owned. So I think I'm gonna wear it to the cinema tonight with my Zara joggers. They're just like white joggers with a little pocket on the side and my Princess Polly ribbed knit top underneath. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this to the cinema, and then this is more, I guess, for winter. I wasn't sure about this, I was like, is it too much? But then Tom said he really liked it, so I feel like if a man's opinion is that it's really nice, I went with it. It's got a kind of print to it, some kind of a, like animal print, I suppose, when the, in this, like, chocolatey brown and even darker brown almost black color got it in a size 10 as did i get that in a 10 i'll leave all of these items linked below if they're available online if you did want to check them out yourself and then from m s i picked up this candle which i thought was so cute i love the little bag that it comes in and it smells amazing it's part of the 
what's it called 1884 range see the little seal stamp there and this one is in bliss with verbena mimosa and petty grain and it was only £4.50 but the usual price in stores is £12.50 so the outlet price was really good for that the actual candle itself is like this white ceramic with the established 1884 uh, kind of embossed on it. I also picked up two of the Christmas candles with the cloches which are 1750 in stores. Um, I went with mistletoe and fur which is this one down to £9.50 and then I also got the mandarin clove and cinnamon again down to nine pound fifty if you can see it's got like a gold foil on it there was another third scent which was apple spice and something which actually smelled really nice but the embossing kind of print on it was silver so i don't like how that it was silver if it had been gold i would have got all three but i ended up just going with these two so i'm gonna save them for maybe like november i want to get these out so for now during vlogtober these are gonna just go away in my candle jar but i guess this can be used any time of the year so that one smells really fresh and i might put that one in our bathroom and then we'll probably next see you when we go to the cinema and then we're probably gonna get a takeaway tonight so nice chilled saturday night that feels like a sunday which is exciting because we've still got a Sunday. I love that feeling. Tom's just had his car valeted and it's all brand new, but we have noticed a cobweb has rebuilt itself. So it's stronger than steel cobweb, apparently. Are you excited for the film? Yeah. We were gutted we couldn't go in yesterday, weren't we? Mm. I'm glad that we're uh, we've timed it before food so that when we get home we can order some food, but we're still gonna get some snacks and fats. Let me show you what we're sneaking in. We're smuggling in some crispy M&M's. If you haven't tried the crispy M&M chocolate bar that they do, they do them in crispy hazelnut, chocolate and peanut. peanut. I bet they will be good. I bet the crispy's the best though. Yeah. It's a bit like crunch, isn't it, with the whole crispy element to it. Anyway, so good, so yummy. So that's our chocolate treat of choice. Of course, we're gonna go for a, a sweet popcorn, small sweet popcorn. <laughs> large sweet popcorn and I think I'm gonna get a tango ice bath tonight as well we'll see what flavours they've got it feel like a Sunday. feels like a Sunday. yeah it might be even better when you wake up and, tomorrow uh, should we do another long walk tomorrow you've got a flight in your car let's go to the cinema Like Joker at the top. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Are you broken or not? <laughs> what are you doing? Society, you know what's at stake. And the only way to save it is in my. Yeah, I've got a key for the car. Where is it? There it is. Cab right. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> Can I break my cameras in this light? Look at that dark mode. <laughs> uh, let's just get in because it's raining. <laughs> oh, that was not a tramp. That was the seat. What did you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good, yeah, but dark. It was hard to watch, I found. Mm. I liked it though. It wasn't like any other traditional. Is it Marvel or DC? I don't think that is Marvel or DC, I think they just put Bat Well, Batman and Joker. Yeah, actually. It's Marvel or DC, isn't it? No, the rights for it or something like that. It's not part of it. Well, yeah, because they're not actually superheroes, Batman and Joker. Anyway, we saw an advert for a new Harley Quinn with Margot Robbie. Birds of Prey, was it called? Yeah. That we'll be going to see. I loved Suicide Squad. It's probably one of my favourite movies. But the Joker, I know you're like, take it or leave it, but Joker was, it was hard to watch. A lot around mental illness and, uh, I don't know, look at us in he red. Gets, he gets bullied though, doesn't he? Like? Yeah, it, it's hard to watch in terms of, you feel for him. You feel, if, you feel really sorry for him, but anyway. 
It's only a film. It happens every day though. It's right? not. I know. Anyway, what are we having for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> watch a comedy. Yeah, Tom said we need to watch Family Guy now or something to just. Sorry. Or something less deep. Oh, yeah. Chinese or Indian? Chinese. Oh, let's just go to Burger King. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Manchu. Chinese? Manchu. No. Oh, you can't go right here. Oh, you can't no. go. No. Right You're such a rebel. I feel quite tired actually. How early did we wake up naturally this morning on a Saturday? Six. Yeah, about half six. I think that's why I get tired earlier. You, you literally cannot yeah, turn literally right here. Turn Thank right you. Here. We are back home. We're into our comfies. Oh. Oh. You are one clumsy. <laughs> Go on. Clumsy, clumsy, clumsy person. Uh, oh. I'm not doing anything. Chinese is en route. I'm going to call it a night. We need a funny film to watch. Did, what did you suggest earlier? I know what we could watch. We could watch like a Christmassy movie. That sounds like the worst idea I've ever heard. Well, it's nearly Christmas. Let's find something on Netflix. Uh, what was the film you said? Oh, super bad. Something like that. Honestly. Yeah, super bad at work. Would it now? Okay then. No. Super bad it is. Um. Yeah, we've just seen it a lot of times. Oh, do you know the the guy that produced Hangover? Fun fact for you here. Yeah. Go on. The guy that produced Hangover refused to do any more comedies because people get too offended these days. So he directed Joker. No way. Yeah. How fun is that? No way. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take off all my makeup. I was going to get into my comfies. Already in my cosy socks, Prime Arnie. I will be stocking up again this year, as I do every year. I need to do a Prime trip, actually. Let's see. This video is going live on the 13th. I'm going to do it for my next video. All the Christmassy bits are in. I feel like I've not done a Primark haul in a while. So that is gonna be oh, next Christmas. week's video. Yeah, Tom's not a fan of Christmas. Mr. Scrooge over there. Or oh, Mr. Grinch. He's just not a fan. I love it. I do prefer autumn though. I think autumn's my favorite First season. summer and playing cricket. <laughs> morning everybody this is just a quick little five minute makeup for the day because we're not really doing anything other than potentially going for a little walk somewhere i say little it'll probably be a long walk nice long countryside walk uh this morning tom is just downstairs making eggs how do you like your eggs in the morning i think we're having poached on i choose white he chooses brown bread but um that is our breakfast I can hear him getting the knives and forks ready. That means it's nearly ready. Um, and then we are maybe going to go over to Lidl, do a big shop and get stuff for a roast that we're going to cook today and just have a bit of a lazy day other than a nice long countryside walk somewhere. So a nice chill day for now. I've just got on my Princess Polly ribbed crop top and some grey soft super soft joggers which are from fig leaves and then there's also a matching hoodie cardigan type thing which i'll just throw on for an extra layer <clears throat> or do you want coffee yeah, music is another one. 
Let's take a little trip to Little. A little trip to Little. There is that over there, but oh, I might resist going in today. No, you're well. Go for it. I don't need anything though. Yeah, like when do I ever there. need anything and go into Tiki Mac? You only want me to do that so that I can leave you to do the food shop. <laughs> the I'm not annoying, I just don't like Tom's method. He'll go in and go, right, I need eggs. Go to the eggs. I need bread. No, no, no. no. I no, need no, this. No, that's not how he doesn't works. go around the store and put things in as he goes. No. As you go in, you just put stuff in your basket, whether it's good or not. I like to actually see if it's any good or not, because I actually know what I'm talking about. What do you mean? You just pick some tomatoes up and go, I need tomatoes, so I'll have those tomatoes. Whereas I go, I can't cook with those tomatoes because they're rubbish, so I'll have to change what I'm making. No, you can you can pick the good ones. What if there are no good ones? No, because you also you don't look at the dates. You just say those tomatoes, okay. No, I don't. And then get home and there's a mouldy one in the packet because you've no, not I properly don't. looked. That's not what happens. Yes. That's not what happens. Do you want to take the bags? I'll take that as a no. I think we're gonna bypass the bakery section because we don't need any. So we just bypass the bakery today. Do we need any bread? Smells so good. Right, let's get shopping. Read diffuser and stuff. What's the Christmas ones? They must be somewhere else. Oh, I've not seen these ones before. Gingerbread, orange, cinnamon and clove. Oh my God, vanilla fudge. Yum. Oh, they've got some down here as well. Frosted berries. They've got all the Christmas food out there. Panettones, Stollen. What's this one? Another panettone. Yum. This is new. This is very Uniqlo, I feel. Even they have like a little stock, sock station, should I say. You know how Lidl copies brands? Yeah. Guess who they've copied? Go on. Uniqlo. Where? Over there. I'll show you, you have to come around this way. See, look, all of these. Oh, yeah. Definitely yeah, of course they are. Even the sock station. Very similar, isn't it? Yeah, it's smart actually. I like how like minimal and neat it is. Nice, these are $4.99, $5.99 as well. Are you going to want your pudding? Dress. Yes, I'm going to want a Yorkshire pudding. Milk? See what I mean? We need milk, so I have to go get the milk. <laughs> no logic to his shopping. Oh God, which one will he need? Oh, I bet, I bet this is gonna be the wrong one. You watch. Standard milk for us. Tom, this one. Oh God, see, I've got it wrong. Oh my God, Christmas made Stollen. See, I'm not really a big Stollen fan, but Tom loves Stollen. We've even got all their Christmassy snacks, treeslets, Christmas glue vine, mulled wine. Yum, love that. Even though I'm not really a wine drinker, I do really like that. And apparently we have two new flavours this year in Quality Street. Oh, they've got the Febreze Air Fresheners in Spiced Apple and Frosted Pine. I'm definitely going to be getting one of each of those. And might do a Christmassy speed clean with me because you guys seem to love my autumn one that I did. Let me know which one would you go for, Spiced Apple or Frosted Pine? I think this is where their Christmassy ones are gone, but they all seem to be gone here. So they've only got a Frosted Room, no sorry, Frosted Pine Room spray left. And look, they have the different squash, munchkin pumpkins and medium sized pumpkins. They're 69p and these are a pound. A pound each is quite a lot, is it not? For a munchkin pumpkin, but anyway. I quite like getting the squash. Can I see what spring onions are you after? Uh, let's go on the hunt for some spring onions. Hey, little shopping now done. Well, quick browse and TK Maxx. Still have all their Halloween bits. Oh, this is pretty. 9 99 is it real? Yes, it smells amazing. Who knew they'd do that? 9 99 oh, I'm really tempted by that. Oh, they've got little Emma Bridgewater mugs, but they're not really that seasonal, are they? I don't know why they're with all the Halloween bits. I like this gold 
glass pumpkin. £12.99. Hocus Pocus. Still never seen that film and really want to. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. That's a nice wintry coat. <laughs> Stop trying to push me upstairs. £48. French Connection, that's not bad. These are cute. For if you're hosting, £2.99 a plate. Oh look, they've got a snowman, Santa, and another snowman. They're cute, I like them. A couple of cushions. Christmas stuff already, Tom? <laughs> I don't know if he approves. I think it's nice to browse now, but I like to start buying in November. Cute. This is a really pretty gold tree. I spotted this recently. It's got light up, little LED lights on the ends. $24.99. I actually quite like this. $19.99. Just a standalone tray. The festive potpourri. £1.29. I've got my autumnal one out at the minute, which I actually picked up from here as well. Look at this reed diffuser. That'd make a nice gift actually. $6.99. Ski lodge. I quite like them. And then they've got these ones here, which you can put your own candle in. $5.99. I like the fact that they're all white. Oh my gosh, how cute. I would love to get a Christmas card with a little dog on it like that. Now these are nice. They've got all their like packaging coming to stores now. And they're good for wine. Always have a quick nosy and clearance. See if they've got anything. I quite like this lamp. Not that we need one, but minimal all white. Did you see the thrifted one I picked up similar to this? Originally next home, I got that for six pounds, so that was a bargain. See if you can find a good one. Go on, get it. Oh no, you have to crack it open, that's cheating. This one's over here. It'll be up here. It'll be all fallen now. There's bound to be one that you can pop. I said there's bound to be one that's not open. That's a good one. Did you actually play Conks at school? Did you used to... What was it? Not vinegar, hard. Boiled them in vinegar. Boiled them in vinegar, that's it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, if everyone does it, it's oh, fair. Right, yeah. <laughs> if everyone takes drugs before 100 metres spin, it's fine. <laughs> we have got some carrots because we know this walk features a few donkeys. So we'll see if they're there. Oh, have you got your hood up, you gangster? <laughs> Go on, I'll catch it. Go on, one-handed. I was gonna drop it on purpose. I can catch, I was in the rounders C team. <laughs> ah, breathe in. That countryside. This is when we wish we had a dog. We? We? Come on. And uh, we think we might have a name. <laughs> We're nearly at the donkeys. Little donkey, little donkey. You remember be that devastated song? tonight though, aren't you? I'll be devastated, but I'm a little upset because I've got to carry carrots for the rest of the walk. <laughs> There he is. Oh look, look at that one. <laughs> some carrots, can you step? I feel like I've only got two there. Oh, snap them. Oh, look at them all. Oh, careful. Oh my god, there's, oh, there's five. Them, they were having a great lunch, look. I'm so sorry, I've not got any left. I've not got any. I think you're going to have to go back home and get one. <laughs> that one got a full one, did it? Or did I snap it? No, you I did snap it. it yeah. I'm sorry. That one's had one. I know. He's after another look. No 
He's the most upset donkey ever. He's the nicest as well. About the chestnut? I don't know. I'll give it some grass. Google it. Google it. Can eat him? Quickly Google it for it. They might, might be able to have them. I like donkeys. Anyway, I'm going to leave Tom here because he's going to go for a run and I'm going to walk back. Because I can't keep up with you. You're too good for me. You hear that? You're too good for me. She's finally realised. No, I'm waiting for a response and that's not the one I want to Just making myself a coffee as you can hear and these are so good we pick these up from Lidl every time we go in pretty much they're like the fox's biscuits but you get two less but they are thicker chocolate oh my god they're incredible so there's one left in this packet which i'm gonna have with this coffee now oven it's on i'm just gonna have a bit of a tidy up i mean there's nothing really to tidy up in here but i'm gonna light all the candles get cozy i've got my cozies on i've just facetimed my mum in dubai my mum and dad in dubai it's my dad's and brother's birthday today so i'm gonna call my brother in a second wish him a happy birthday first stop is to light these candles This is one of my favorites because it's a wood crackling one and it sounds so good. There's one potato. Two potatoes, three potatoes. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes, more. Just watch this. Incredible, fourth impact. Oh my God, they're amazing. We've got United game on. Chef Tom in the kitchen. Using our new masher, which we picked up from TK Maxx. This is $4.99, and I believe it's called a ricer. <laughs> Looks like cheese. <gasps> what is that? Homemade oh, Yorkshire puds. This, for me, is the best part to any roast dinner. Yes, we're having chicken, and some people might disapprove. But for me, Yorkshire's go with anything. I've actually... Oh, this is a true story. Right. I've got a new series that we can watch tonight, but it's currently on TV. So we've got five episodes to catch up on. And it's called A Confession. It's an ITV drama series type thing um, about a girl that goes missing. So that's what we're gonna do for the rest of this evening. I am gonna close off this vlog here. We have a couple of exciting blogging events going on next week. So um, next Sunday's vlog, Vlogtober should be a good one and the rest of this evening is going to be spent just chilling doing that and eating some chocolate biscuits from our little halloween treat jar over there so thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and i hope to see you all in my next one bye guys